<clears throat> okay, I got an interesting phenomenon I'm observing here. Well, I have obviously a rock and some tap water, copper wire hooked up to the multimeter, which is over there. Just regular tap water. And I have me a magnesium electrode. And this rock is dry for the most part on top. That's very important. I'm going to show you what's going on show you most part I'm not, I'm not getting any voltage because the rock the top of the rock is dry yeah it's just it's dry I'm not getting any voltage from it I mean I can get a little bit like that it's the most I can get but it's not a steady now you can see not really getting anything. Now I got one little spot on the rock. It's probably impossible to see, but it's kind of glistening right there. Right there is a little. It's kind of a different color than other rock. It's a little bit moist right there. Just a tiny little strip right there. I'm circling it. That little strip has got a little bit of water on it. Just a little bit. Now right here, there's no water. There's no water there. There's no water surrounding this area right there. None of that. There's a tiny bit of water right there. I'm gonna put my electrode on that. I'm getting a volt. As you can see, that's where my electrode is. Just gotta put it right there. And I'm getting a volt. See, what's so interesting about this is that there is no water around this barrier right here. No water at all. So, there's a little bit of water right there. So there's no way for that little bit of water right there to ever get to the water right there. Only way for that little bit of water to make a connection, well it can't make a connection because there's no water surrounding this area right there. So what it tells me is this, is that it's traveling through the rock itself. This is very interesting, like I said, there's no, there's no water around this area. Well, there's a tiny bit of water right there. Put my electrode on that. Electrode on that little bit of area. You can see I can get a volt. And that's very interesting to me. Like I stated, there is no water. So there's a little bit of water. It's not touching that little bit of water in the cup or the bowl itself. So there's no way this area right there is touching that. So the energy has to be traveling through the rock itself. See, I put my electrode there when there's no water. I get no voltage, so it's it's very interesting to me. I got my electrode there, and I'm not getting any water, so it's not connected. It's just a tiny bit of water right there, and the energy is traveling through the rock itself. And this is very important. So, so the only way for there to be any voltage is that both electrodes must be touching water, but they don't have to be touching the same water. Okay, it's very important. And this rock itself is actually electronically dead. It's um by that I mean it's not I just disconnected. Disconnect the leads. And I got my two wires or two probes. And the rock itself is giving nothing. So the rock is not even conductive. You can see. You can see there. And also put resistance on. And you can see me touching, and we get infinite resistance. And we are on the ohm setting. So we're getting infinite resistance too from the rock. So the fact that this is happening is so interesting to me. Because the energy is traveling through the rock. Nothing else. And like I said, there is no water around this area. None right on this area but there is a little bit of water along that little edge right there so basically the energy can travel through a rock like that but in order for it to happen the magnesium electrode needs to be in contact with water on the rock but the water does not have to be in direct contact with the other water so the energy can travel through the rock itself it's very interesting to me.